Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and this is just another quick reminder that phishing email scams are the most common way that businesses and individuals get compromised on the internet. In this video, we are going to dissect a phishing email that I just received recently so that you can be aware of the clues to look out for when you receive something like this and hopefully educate your users as well. But first, make sure you like and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions and follow us on Twitter at CrosstalkSOL for all of the latest updates. Okay, so here is the email that I received, and this seems absolutely innocent enough. At first glance, there's really only one clue that I can see that there might be some sort of issue with this email. So, subject, this came into our ticketing system, by the way. Subject is problem authorizing your payment method, and it came from WordPress, and it has the logo for WooCommerce subscriptions. So right off the bat, nothing super fishy here because CrosstalkSolutions.com is a WordPress website and our store uses WooCommerce. We have a number of plugins that require subscriptions and we have to you know, keep paying for those subscriptions on a regular basis. It's not uncommon that a credit card would expire or something like that and it might trigger an email like this where they need us to update our billing information. The only thing that I see in this email that is a little bit weird is the WooCommerce subscriptions logo is a little bit low resolution and it's also kind of small and off to the side when I would usually expect a professional corporation to have the logo centered and sort of more prominently featured in the email. But again, that's really being picky now that I know this is already a phishing scam. At first glance, that did not uh, strike me as anything odd. And as can happen to anyone, I did click on the button that says update billing info. So let's go ahead and do that again now. Now notice, when I clicked on it, I did not hover over and check the link before I clicked on it. I assumed that this was a legitimate email. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it here. And this is where I originally realized that this was a phishing scam. Okay, so why do I, what triggered me to think that this is a phishing scam? What triggered me, even though it says wordpress.com up here in the corner, is that there was no LastPass shortcut for entering in my username or password. If I was going to WooCommerce or WordPress, that would have triggered LastPass to say, hey, we know about a password for this site, and I would have the little LastPass icon over here in the right-hand side of the email address or username field. So immediately I was like, well, that's weird. And then of course, LastPass doesn't show anything up here. And then I look over here and I see this Goo hooey fee, goo hooey hooey, whatever this website is, just a really odd kind of website. So immediately I'm like, okay, wait a minute, hold up. There's something, there's something weird here. So let's look at some of these links. If we hover over, we still get that same thing. It says goo hooey fee.com, whatever that is. And all of the links go to that same thing, even the one that says back to wordpress.com. So very, very fishy, but also keep in mind, that now that I'm filming this video, this has actually changed. This used to go to a different site. If you look at the links in the actual email, so for instance, if I hover over update billing info, let me get myself out of the way here. Look at the link down in the bottom left-hand corner. It goes to https colon slash slash puz.soundestlink.com. So as soon as I was suspicious that this might be an email phishing attempt, the first thing I want to look up is that domain and whether it looks like it might be a scam domain. So let's do that next. And there's two ways that I'm going to check this. The first way is you can just Google, you know, domain name scam or is, you know, domain name a scam or something to that effect. And you're usually going to find these is legit site uh, type of websites. And there are numerous of the of these type of uh, results that will appear when you Google something, at, you know, looking for scams. So right here, it says potentially legit. We found nothing wrong with the website. And then if you scroll down, it looks at a number of blacklists on the internet. The result is okay for all of these. Everything seems pretty much okay, right? So like they have a valid HTTPS cert. The domain was created seven years ago. You can view who is, which is the next way to see anything. But who is is actually not gonna show us a whole lot of information. It basically just says that it's a Cloudflare domain. We can see that it was registered originally in 2014. Uh, anything else though is you know data redacted. It's kind of privatized uh, domain registration. So nothing that we can really find out there. 
Going back to the email though, when I clicked on it, so yesterday when I clicked on this and I was looking at this the first time, it did actually resolve to this soundestlink.com, but now when I'm clicking on it, it's going to this goohuifi.com, whatever this is. So now let's grab this one and take a look to see if we can't see if this one is a scam. So searching that URL, it does not look like any information about it as being a scam pops up one way or another. Now let's look at the, look at the who is registration for this domain. And here we actually get a pretty decent red flag. So the red flag is that this was just registered about two months ago. Okay, so this is a relatively new domain. Brand new domains are often indicative of scams, right? Because people will just fire up a new domain, they're, you know, a buck 99 or whatever, and then they use that domain as part of whatever scam they're running. Scrolling down further, we can see that there is some private contact information. So again, nothing to see here. This is not going to give us any information whatsoever. So now going back to the email, I'm, I'm like 99% positive that this is a phishing scam, but what's another way that we can check for sure? And that would be to look at the actual sender. So right now, notice that it says it came from WordPress and a lot of email clients, especially ticketing systems like the one that we use, will hide the actual email address from you until you actually drop down this little arrow. So let's look at where this email actually came from and it actually came from lucy at roughandperpets.com, right? So right there, it was like, okay, solidified. This is absolutely a scam. Why would WordPress be sending me something about WooCommerce subscriptions from lucy at roughandperpets.com? Just doesn't make any sense. That is obviously a compromised email. And now we know for sure that this is a legitimate scam. A legitimate scam, it's a scam. So, okay, what can we do about something like this? We really can't do anything about it other than just delete this mail, maybe report them as a scam or mark it as spam so that if it, another one from that same sender comes into your inbox, it actually goes straight to spam. But imagine how many people might fall for this, right? It's very easy to go out there. You know, WordPress is a very popular website creation platform. WooCommerce is a very popular, um, you know, e-commerce platform. It's very easy to find websites that use both WordPress and WooCommerce. And then of course our website has our email address out there as well. So it's also very easy to find an email address. So you can scour the web for any website that matches WordPress, WooCommerce, and has some sort of available email address and then send them these emails, some percentage of people are going to click on that. And then some percentage of those people are going to fill in their WordPress or WooCommerce login information. And that information has now been gathered by those people. They can use it to log into your website or do who knows what they're gonna do with it. Take it over, or whatever, I don't know, hack it, right? So <laughs> somehow. So anyways, just a quick reminder that this stuff can happen to anyone education is the key to combating these types of email phishing scams and even myself who has a pretty trained eye for this kind of stuff i didn't recognize this until i had already clicked on the button all right if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you click the like button down below and subscribe to crosstalk solutions for more info just like this my name's chris and we will see you in the next video